Welcome to Learn Electrics and this Tech Tips video. We are asked many times, can we have spurs on sockets and if so, how many? And what size cables should we use? We hope in this short video to answer those questions that are just about spurs on socket circuits. We will assume for this video a domestic installation and all wiring will be in twin and earth cable. To begin with, let's establish a common understanding. Shown here is a radial socket circuit. A cable leaves the circuit breaker, the MCB, and visits each socket in the circuit, one after the other. When it gets to the last socket, the cable stops. There is only one route for the electricity to flow along. With a ring circuit, a cable leaves the breaker and visits each socket in turn. After the last socket, the cable returns to the breaker making itself into a ring. There are two routes for the electricity to flow. Beginning with radial sockets, a radial socket circuit can be protected by a 32 amp breaker. In this case, all the cabling here will be in 4mm twin and earth. We can daisy chain from one socket to the next, as is our wish, with single or double sockets. It makes no difference. And we can start a new daisy chain if we want to. We can have any arrangement of sockets that we wish. The only proviso is that for a 32 amp breaker, all the cabling should be at least a 4 mm cross-sectional area. If we have a 20 amp radial socket circuit, the same distribution of sockets applies, but this time the cabling must be at least 2.5 mm throughout the circuit. A smaller circuit breaker allows for smaller cables, but of course there may be fewer sockets or a reduced load on the circuit. If we introduce a 13 amp FCU, a fused connection unit, into the 32 amp circuit, we can reduce the cable size after the FCU. All the cabling up to and into the FCU must be in 4mm size, but cables after the FCU can be reduced to 1.5mm CSA. And the arrangements of sockets can be as you wish, spurs on spurs and so on as before. The same rules apply to a 20 amp radial circuit. Everything before the 13 amp FCU should be 2.5mm and everything afterwards can be 1.5 millimetres. Moving on to ring socket circuits, we see a completely different picture. If we look at our basic ring circuit with a 32 amp breaker, we see that all the cabling is in 2.5 millimetre twin and earth. If we wish to add sockets to the existing sockets on the ring, then we are limited to one socket per existing ring connected socket. This extra socket can be a single or double. The only restriction is that it must be one moulding. And all cabling to the newly added sockets must also be in 2.5mm cable. What we cannot do is to add an extra spur to any of the spurs. This is not permitted by the regulations. If we want to add several extra sockets at a particular point in the circuit, for instance into a newly built patio, then we can do this by adding a 13 amp FCU to the ring. The cables to the FCU must be 2.5 mm. The cables after can be 1.5 mm. And the distribution of sockets after the FCU can be in any pattern to suit you. There can be spurs on spurs as you wish because you cannot load the cable above the 13 amp fuse in the FCU. Hopefully, this short video has helped with understanding what we can and can't do in relation to sockets and it is summarised here in this table. I do hope it helps. We hope that you found this video from Learn Electrics both useful and enjoyable. Please click on subscribe below and you will have access to all of our Tech Tips videos and we do appreciate that small act. Tapping in Learn Electrics or one word into the YouTube search bar will also give you access to all of the videos. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you again very soon.